Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Krabby Shack on a Budget. I'm Chris, as you know. Usually my daughter Beth is here with me. Um, today I'm just going to give you a little rundown on our last video on how to properly set up a tank. Um, now, the lid to this tank isn't too great, so um, it's recommended that you have a full sealed-in lid, but like we showed you before, you can use something to cover your screened-in tops. So, um, let's get a head start. I'm going to set my camera down, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, just This is going to be a quick rundown, um, and hopefully it'll help for all you beginners out there before you find anyone else you need um but all of our channels have links on them crab central station lycos that's land hermit crab owner society and crab street journal they have all the correct information and we're doing our best to show you all you beginners just how to do so let me set you down here out this is I don't know if y'all can see 10 gallon tank in this 10 gallon tank we have two pools one two and as you see rocks in and we have mesh going in and out so you will place your pools one fresh water one salt water you know this is play sand and eagle earth um, it is recommended that the tank be half full um, per one crab, um, 10 gallons one crab, 20 gallons for two, then now they like a buddy, they are very social animals. Sorry you can't see my face too great with this. Um, so I'm going to show you the next step that you can do. You can add yourself a piece of cork wood that you can find at your local pet store. You can place this in the corner, kind of like put it down in the sand a little, give them kind of a little hide spot. Um, also, you want to add some chilla wood. They like their chilla wood. That's what they eat. They also eat the cork bark. Um, and then we have, which this is a necessary thing. You can either hang your gauge or you can set a little dish down in. If you have one of these kind of gauges. You want to set it at least two or three inches off the sub. Then we also have some fake plants you can pick up at the dollar store for three dollars for a thing, or you know, you can get two of them like for six bucks and you can cut them apart. You know, always make sure the steel is covered. These do last you a while. Now, crabs do have a tendency to tear them apart, so you have to change them in and out. Um, you always want to make sure they have enough hide in here. You also make sure you want to have a place for your food dish and your supplement dish. Supplements are very, very important. So now, like we said, with this kind of room in a 10-gallon, as you can see, with pool size, with them being able to submerge, is not quite enough room. So, you know, you just want to make sure they're hidden and everything. Now, you give me a quick second. I'll show you a food dish and stuff. You know, you can, you take two dishes, whatever size you can find. Um, usually they like something that's a little flatter so they can reach better. You know, you could probably maybe set one back here. And you could set one here towards the front. And then you can use some suction cups add some vining in through here so they have a lot more places to hide always make sure they have their wood their water their supplements their food the wood is very important thing a leaf litter is very important thing <laughs> supplement is important their water fresh both fresh and salt water it's instant ocean for your salt water is prime for both pools you have to prime both pools so fresh water and salt water weigh in and out weigh out 
Make sure you have your sand in your place sand in your eco earth and you make sure you mix it to a five to one ratio. You can find all these charts on Crab Street Journal, on Crab Central Station, and Land Hermit Crab Owner Society. So this is a basic setup. Now let's get to our lid. Lid, usually screened in tops, come with simple tanks, unless you get a regular fish tank you're ordering from Walmart. If you have one from a friend and has a screened in top, you can do a simple little trick like I showed you on the last video, or you could take, if you have leftover plexiglass and packing tape, you can place this on, place that plexiglass and packing tape on top of the lid and use that packing tape and place it down so that you can keep heat and humidity in, heat, heat and humidity in there. Now, let's go over the heating pads. Now, heating pads are definitely supposed to cover the back of complete back of your tank now on the back of my 55 here you know back in here there is a heat mat from bean farm and from you know you can get them from reptile basics it covers the whole length and tie it back in, of your tank you're also going to want to pick up one of these um, they regulate your heat. It's the thermostat to make sure your heat stays at a good temperature. So you always want 75 to 85 to so stay in between for your heat and your humidity. Now my 55, you can see, has a gauge hanging. We also have a wheel. We have an upstairs and a downstairs. We have all the plants that are foraging under here. There wood they need. We walk over this way. We also have some more wood in here, and there are two poles they need. So you know, sealed in top. You know, you always want to make sure your tops are sealed in. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown and let you know that it's simple and easy to do once you get set up. Um, and you can find things on a budget. So please. Come check us out. Remember to hit that like button, comment, and share, and please subscribe. And we can give you the links to Land Hermit Crab Owner Society, Crab Central Station, and Crab Street Journal for all your other needs. Thank you. Have a good day.